I'm on my way up to the Marshall Yard, our second uh, second time here in the last few weeks. Extremely excited to catch up with all the hard workers up there that have been working on the project. And today is an important day as we're raising our first poll. And uh, there will be a, a number of media there interviewing some of the hard working Mainers that are they're already working on this job and obviously excited about all the jobs that will continue to come from this project. I'm Thor Dickinson. I am excited about sharing with you authentic conversations from Mainers throughout the state about the value this project delivers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys. Hey, uh, uh, pretty nice day for what we got going here. Guys, this is our Tuesday safety meeting and uh, my part of it, we'll just do real short. Guys need to warn you that that in places that we've been working out there, we've got other contractors that are working in, in our areas. Uh, be sure and keep your distance and uh, just uh, mind your P's and Q's. You guys know what you're doing. So just want to pass and share along that we've been getting a tremendous amount of real positive feedback from the residents and neighbors and businesses and stuff about the interaction that you folks have been having in their businesses. Um, helping people when their car's off to the side of the road and need some assistance with it and things along those lines. How are you doing? Good, you? Good. I'm Adam DeRosier. I'm the manager of the NECC project. That's all, huh? That's all, yeah. <laughs> and this is obviously not make work that you're doing, it's stuff that work that had to happen. Especially with the lack of snow and the, the slow start to snowmobile season, NCI has been established in Bingham, Forks, um, and Moscow for almost two and a half months now. And so they've been buying fuel from the from the local gas stations. They've been buying meals for their crews from the restaurants. Their crews are renting cabins that might've been vacant with the snowmobile season delay. So there's been a tremendous benefit already with those crews being in the area working. What's your job? Uh, I'm a groundsman. So I've been walking a lot of right away, uh, flagging, spotting equipment. Uh, we've been building mat roads. How oh, is it? I, I love it, honestly. Um, I've always drove by here uh, since I was a kid because we got a place on Moosehead and uh, I like the woods so no complaints about here. It's, there's not a lot of bad things about it, they're all good things really, I mean it puts a lot of maintenance to work, uh, good paying jobs and, and a lot of people that are from Maine have always worked out of state and they can come home and they, they'll, they'll be home every night. Busy, you? Yes, we're, we're super busy. It's, uh, and with this with this project this past year, it was a tremendous boost to us because it was a strange year. When COVID hit, a lot of jobs got got postponed, uh, kicked back, and then they're just starting to come around again. So yeah. this this project got us through 2020. We had a great morning meeting with all the crews up in Marshall Yard, and now we're actually on our way to see the first pole being raised uh, down on Tr off of Trotdale Road. Extremely excited to, to see that important milestone for the project. We do ask once we start getting picked, we're gonna barricade this area off. We'd like everybody to stay back there. It's incredibly exciting. I mean, it's, uh, it's very satisfying. I mean, it's, it's interesting being out here again and um, you know, looking at the impact that's already been here from the transmission line. Um, and then knowing we're just adding this additional section of clearing and then, uh, you know, obviously seeing the pole about to go up the first one, it's, it's incredibly rewarding, incredibly exciting, knowing where the project's going. Jeffrey, we were just talking a little while ago. What was your feeling in seeing the actual pole get, uh, get installed? Oh, uh, it's really exciting to be up here and see it. Uh, we've been talking about it for years, as we talked about in the last episode, uh, uh, you know, since 2013, 2014 timeframe and, uh, you know, it really is amazing. All the hard work of many, many people uh, sort of coming into this one moment that we saw today. So, super exciting, yeah. How's it feel now that you're out here and seeing what you saw today? It, I mean, it certainly feels real. It feels, it feels great. I mean, we've been receiving polls for a few weeks now and heard the other day that they got this base section in the ground, which, which is uh, impressive by itself. And, 
and to see it up, I mean, it's it's great. We've just we've seen it on drawings. We've talked about it at meetings, presentations, and it, it feels good to make some progress. All right, Jim. Well, you've been around the company for a long time. Uh, I love the fact that you've come and joined the the NECC team. How, what was today like for you? Today was exciting. I mean, with all the work that everyone's put in to making this day happen, to see the first poll go in, it, it was it's really exciting. And look forward to more of them going in soon. Uh, but to, to get to this point, I mean, talking to all the workers that have been out here working with NCI and Irby, a lot of main guys with connections that are glad to be working here. And, you know, it's really glad to hear that. They're home working and seeing their families and not having to travel out of state. So this is a good project for those people and for all of us.